Welcome back to the jungle. We're going to be playing Nocturne versus Master Yi. Anytime the enemy picks Master Yi, I like to pick something with CC. If I get the two factor here, we'll ult the enemy Jinx and we will CC the Master Yi. Easier said than done. With that in mind, we'll be going with the Bruiser build. No reason to do uh, any sort of lethality because Master Yi has this W. They have a lot of mitigation in general, so we don't have to go for the one shot. The one shot is an inconsistent build in a sense, too. So with Bruiser, you have a very consistent curve. You're going to get that Stride Breaker that gives you a lot of HP. AD, attack speed, a little bit of utility. And then you also get that Ninja Tabby, and the Ninja Tabby make you significantly tankier. Bing. Significantly tankier, combo that with the 450 HP, build a Tunneler after that, and I mean hell, even the dumbest, the dumbest John full clearing can still manage from there. So that's what we're looking for. Generally pathing topside here, you can almost assume that Mastery will always be starting his red buff, so I just want to match him on the top side. We have good chance of 2v2, but we also want to make sure that we're having some impact. If I was to pass towards bot side, at least on the first two turns, I can guarantee that I would have no plays down there. So instead, we're pathing top. As Nocturne, you always want to be getting basically all the camps. You're trying to power up into that level 6, but beyond that too, Bob, don't forget. I mean, past level 6, you still got to farm those camps. Why? They give you gold, they give you XP. And the levels give you tankiness, and it gives you damage. You have the two-part here whenever you're playing the Bruiser so that you can be strong enough to fight. You got to make sure that you maintain those levels. And the only way to do that is going to be through the jungle camps. Alrighty, Mr. Master Yi. Nice, not going to get his free kill. So I finished my camps here. Well, in a bit. Anyways, for the runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, and Coop. Gives us more DPS. And then Ultimate Hunter and Eyeball Collection will give us more Snowball Potential once we start getting some kills, remember. Although we're playing more Bruiser, we're still going to function like an Assassin. So, more AD, more damage, and then definitely more ultis is going to be pretty useful for us. What's nice about Bruiser 2 is that it doesn't have to be all about your ultis. Lethality, it's one million and a half percent about your ultis. So as I finish my camps here, my top lane's pushed in. That's not very good. Oh, but yeah, this guy's going to get flipped. No goop, though, so this guy's probably just going to walk away. There's my Q. I'm not going to flash E or anything like that. All right, Singed is dead. I'm just going to go ahead and crash this wave, and we know Master E's on the top side, so... We'll just reset after this. I don't want to enter the river against who knows what. Even though I had that tempo advantage over the Master Yi in a sense. Well played, Mr. Singed. I don't think I've ever played with a Singed that has done it normal, to be fair. Two long swords into the bot side. As fast as possible so that we can get to that scuttle crab. Oh, Master Yi queued the E. Everything misses. Flay. Flay him towards... Oh, yeah, yeah, I flashed away. I mean, you never know with Briar. Oh, close. I'm coming in, boys. If Mastery would be so brash to try to do a funny scuttle crab here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And there's really nothing here, I'll be honest. Cute. Yeah, because he can just get out of there. A Nautilus, too tanky, can't really get past him, so back to the camps. Now what I can do, at least try to, is get into Master Yi's jungle. We have a whole Nautilus, Bob. I have nothing. Back to my camps. Now listen, my top laner is 0-3, my mid lane is 0-1, my support is 0-2. And, and is it even a problem? Not really. Not yet. Although the enemy has got their kills, I'm still ahead in the tempo for jungle because I'm back on my camps faster. It's not like I want to fight Master Yi on this turn, but it's not the end of the world. One of the most common questions I get is, all my allies die before I finish my clear. I can't win. It don't matter, man. It barely affects you, to be honest. Where it really comes into play is if we can't get these objectives, or if we can't fight on the next turn, on the third turn. So I'm going to do all my camps here, especially where I don't have any prio on the mid and top lane, and then we'll go from there. But like, by far and away, Bob. Marketing people be like, you got to focus on the pain points to sell your product. It's like... If I sold them, um, never or win, even though your lanes all die early game for the rest of my life, I would probably be a millionaire, a trillionaire, a quadzillionaire. Schmack, schmack. All my lanes are pushed in, so no void grubs for us. And then the faster I get to the bot side, the faster I can do that dragon, get into the Master Yi's red side, things like that. 
phage. Honestly, let's just do this. Yeah, ruby crystal and a long sword. Yeah, because now we get more AD and pretty much the same HP. Boom. The score is seven to zero, Bob. Am I feeling too bad about it? Not yet. Wait till I get my first ulti. Now we need that respawn scuttle, my blue buff, or the enemy red buff to get the level six here. So I have a little bit of time to do a play, but I really don't want to overreach for one. So that I don't take too much damage, I can actually capitalize on a level six. Put my ward down right here. Looks like the karma may be reaching for this though. The briar can definitely set me up. There's the Q. Ulti. Nice. E onto Master Yi. Flash, auto. Q. Health potion, auto, moving. Schmack. Nice. Block the hook. Oh. And there's the level up for me, so I'll help the Briar crash this wave, and then we are good to go. Just a little bit of juice, Bob. Because whenever the enemy gets all these kills, man, they build up a shutdown. They make one mistake and you collect that shutdown. The entire lead that they have is almost reversed. And if you've been farming over them, then you also have an XP lead. Because usually, the enemy is going to be skipping farm to do these plays. Yuck. I guess time for dragon. Everyone's half committed to it. That's the problem here. Ulti. Q, E, auto, auto, auto. Can't really follow up. There's no hook. Run! Q. Master Yi, Q. Maybe even if I auto, auto right there, we're still dying, so it's just not important. Are we doing dragon or are we diving, guys? Follow a team's call maneuver right there. Tiamat, Phage, Boots, or dagger. I'm not going to buy the boots until I have a great reason to. We'll clear up to the top side again and then probably just do a reset. Since we spent our ulti all this time that we're dead walking back to lane and farming, the ulti's coming off cooldown. So there is a bit of efficiency there. It's just pretty lame where my allies take the fight into the enemy. If you want to do the dragon, the dragon pulls the enemy into the river and then you take the fight there. If you do the fight beforehand, well, it doesn't work out as you're chasing into the enemy. Chasing into a Master Yi. Next goal here is going to be level 9, honestly. These next two turns can be pretty much just farming, and that could be fine. We, you would like to win the objectives, but where the enemy has the advantage, it's kind of off the board. So then my highest priority becomes getting the farm. With these long swords, the TM at the dagger, that all kind of accelerates the build path, or accelerates the clear speed, too. Since we don't have ulti, not even interested in the fight. Again, I can get my three topside camps for Master Yi doing dragon. And we better hurry it up, you know? With the pace at which everyone's dying, we better hurry it up. Kill all these camps, get higher level, get that stride breaker, and then look for a play. It's always going to feel like that too. It feels like you're giving up something now, but that's fine. Because in League of Legends, man, you don't have to contest everything at every moment. Wow, am I going to be level 8 off these? Wow. Just like that, Bob. Mastery is only level 7 for sure. Again, can see topside objective. Go bot. Ult that Jinx and hurry it up. Stridebreaker boots. Let's get out there. Nice. Nautilus is already dead. Now I'm resetting here into the river so that I can entertain mid or bot lane. Nice hook. Oh, not the cleanest shit I've ever seen, but if it works, it works. Well, their bot lane's dead, so that gives me one option here. I'm gonna wait till Briar's W is up. Yeah, I know, I know. Ulti. Q, Stridebreaker, E, W, Smite, Auto. Wish me luck on this one. Schmack, 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 Q, sh Nice. Dude, we, we beat the shit out of him. That's a Kraken Slayer Master Yi right there. It's nothing to mess with. Q. We got the movement speed. E. Stride Breaker. Auto. Auto. Just like that, Bob. My allies lost early. Does it matter? No. 
Now we're only gonna stay for one of the Void Grubs here. My Krugs are spawning and Master Yi is pissed. So we're just gonna get one of these, get that bonus XP that the first one gets you, and get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Honestly, let's reset. Let's reset. Get back to those bot side camps. Hi guys. Ninja Tabby, um, Ruby Crystal, and off we go. And we are significantly tankier with these two alone. Ninja Tabby giving us 20 armor and that reduced incoming attacks by 12%. That's going to be the auto attack. So that's Jinx, Master Yi, and then a little bit of GP's auto attacks. 40 seconds on my ulti. I'll be farming my camps until then. And now we have two turns to farm before the next objective. So we want to get a lot of XP and try to be level 10 and a half before then. Anything that happens in the meanwhile, we can react to, but I'm not looking for anything preemptive. There's that level 9, so we have our Q max now. And with level 11, that's what we're looking for next. We'll give us our second play in our ulti, which is so important. It gives us lower cooldown, more damage, and extra range. That extra range is what really seals the deal. Rest in peace, big man. To the camps, quick. My allies are dying. Drake, where's my Krugs? <laughs> oh, I'll stay for the midwave here. If I clear midwave, I can go bot lane since Master is playing bot side. Might as well. Q. Sorty. Auto. Stride breaker. Auto. Moving. And to the bot side? No, they reset. Might have a little bit of time to play with here. I might be able to ult top lane. Hot dog. GP might be feeling like he needs to move up to stop or to deal with Singe Proxy. Maybe we get lucky. No lucky just yet. I'm out of here. I only have a minute to play with, so kill these Krugs, reset to the bot side. Remember to use that Stride Breaker when you're clearing. It deals extra damage on that active. Reset to the bot side, playing for the Dragon. Don't really care about the Void Grubs. And then I'm looking for... An AD and HP item secondary. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much. Get the blue trinket level 9. And then I'm looking to make a play before the dragon. Um, ideally. And then we start it. But I'm not looking to start the dragon to begin with. We need to get a pick beforehand. Bro. Pick me Briar mid. Close. Yeah, we don't know where Master Yi is. Ult in that bush. It's a bit much. So we're waiting for the enemy to make a mistake and then punish it. There's the flash hook. We're going to ulti and then not go in. <laughs> Definitely not go in. E, ulti, auto, W, auto, smite, auto, 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 hiding. Q, flash, auto. No, no. The kiting did not work out, Bob. <clears throat> Q, well, we get one. E, auto, strike breaker. Uh, uh, <laughs> the kiting did not work out. It's a tricky situation because if I stay on top of them, man, the mastery has so much DPS. It's fine, though. Because they're so low and the play keeps happening, I'll be able to reset bot and probably be able to get the dragon at the end of the day. Because if I'm tanking right there as a bruiser, there needs to be some damage behind me. My Varus was already dead. So I figured if we get them chunked, then we can kind of wait for the Briar to arrive. But if I stayed on top of them, probably would have been better. Hard to say. To the dragon here. Boah. E, Stride Breaker, auto. Schmack, schmack, schmack. And I'm rich, baby. Shut down. A bit much, eh? Immediately into this guy's red side. Master Yi hadn't been farming that entire time, so if I take these camps, I'm stealing a lot of XP for him. Remember, we're playing for level 11 despite all of this happening. They got the dragon, they got their kills, you know, they're gonna get it. But listen, I'm gonna get what's here for me. And nobody's stopping me from getting the camps, the XP, the gold. Getting the shutdowns, getting the kills is cool and all, but it's really about staying on these things so that we're strong enough so whenever those fights happen, we're in position for them. Well, we're pretty close to Black Cleaver. We might as well complete that, then go for Randuins as our third item. 
Randuins will give us crit resistance and more on hit resistance, which is perfect against Jinx, Master Yi, and Gangplank. You guys are forcing a fight off tempo, so I'm not going to follow up. I'm going to get level 11 first. They're really reaching too, so it's a bad play. The enemy didn't make a mistake and they forced. Spots like this too, if I was to clean it up, it'd be way better than spinning myself. Level 11, check out the minimap. That's the range on the ulti now. Gangplank, I love you. Aw, oh, come on, give me that vision. Waiting to blue trinket this next push? Boom. Ah, smart, smart. The gangplank kept running. Clean up the camps, probably reset, get that whole black cleaver. 136 CS, so we're doing pretty good. Damn. I have like the most CS on the team. It's not what you want to see, but it is what it is. Ah, I'm just out of range. I'm gonna take this wave though. No harm, no foul on that. Alrighty, Black Cleaver and a couple cloth armors. I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. Once I have that Randuin's completed too, it'd be a lot better to skirmish with the uh, Jinx and them. Two cloth armors. Building that bad boy into Randuin's. Black Cleaver gives us 55 AD, 400 HP, 20 ability haste. Dealing damage reduces the enemy's armor. And with that, that gives us pretty consistent damage at all stages of the game now. You can really plateau mid-game as Nocturne, so having these two items is going to make things super, super consistent. And then building a tank item after that, totally fine. If we were more juiced and the game was going better, we could build a bruiser item like Death Stance, for example. Alrighty, waiting for the enemy to make a mistake. GP is the one pushed up, so let's go ahead and try to fight that. GP backs off. Bummer. So with all the camps down, I'm existing in the river, waiting for the enemy to give me an ulti. If the laners aren't laning though, it's a lot harder. Alrighty, let's see if GP shows on this next wave. Nautilus is in. Ulti. Q, E, strike breaker, W, auto, moving, auto, auto, smite, auto. Smack, smack. Keep smacking, keep smacking. E. Moving. Moving. Nice. We came over with him. Auto Q. Ah, I can't follow this one. I'm walking into GP. Hello. Q. Wait for GP barrels. W. Stripe Breaker. Auto. 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 Hit the barrel. E. Auto. 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 Q. Schmack. 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 Hit the barrel. Oh. Oh. Hit the barrel. If you don't hit the barrel, you eat the crit and you eat his passive. It's like 900 damage. Giant spell. Give me more HP. Apparently I'm dealing with a lot of true damage here. Wait, we just bought a lot of HP. Let's actually do this. Warden's Mouth. Nice, I get a control word too for the third dragon. So when your team loses, you might lose up to the third dragon. And then you're always going to be able to contest the fourth one if you farmed along the way. What, am I just always farming? Shut up, man. Alrighty, let's contest this third one. We got ulti. We got our blue trinket. We're good to go. I'll get two control words just in case. And then we're playing for the Baron after that. You want to keep farming in the mid game like this, but not too much. All I need is like one quadrant. So Wolves and Gromp and then we fight Dragon. But, but not skipping them. There's nothing preemptive for me to do because my lanes don't have push. Bear, Bri Briar's pushing top. Varus is pushed in, you know? I'm not going to ult Nautilus, you know? Pretty simple. Alrighty, the world's shittiest front line has arrived. They're probably just doing Baron. Not a lot of them are showing. Well, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna try to get into a position like this so I have a better angle on the Jinx. Nice. Ulti. Blue Trinket. Ulti. Q. Stripe Breaker. W. Schmack. 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 Smite. Schmack. 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 Q. Schmack. 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 Just a whole lot of damage, Bob. 
Look at that true damage dealt. <laughs> 1,200. That will show me, man. Job's done, man. We get onto the ADC first, and then we try to turn onto the next carry. Um, I kind of welled on the Nautilus, to be fair. And then onto the GP, and that was enough. I don't know what happened with Carbon Master Yi, but that's how we have to do those team fights. Get in there, die. The faster you get in there and die, your team's going to clean up or not and lose. Either way, you did your job. And then it's back to the camps. The faster you die, the faster you respawn, and the faster you get back to the camps. In mid game, not a bad strategy. Let's go to that blue buff, give everyone that, and then we'll definitely just be playing around the top side from here. Levels are going to even out too, so that's a bit more in my favor than it is for Master Yi. Karma's really reaching. Oh, where I had vision on the Jinx, I probably should have ulted her. Hi, Karma. We really need wards on the Baron. With Master Yi, you don't have any downtime. Alright, man. I'll put my control ward. That's where it's gotta be here. Spots like this, you don't want to use the E on the camp. In case a fight happens, you want to have it with the ulti. I usually say with enchanters I need to bring my own control ward, but I suppose with Thresh it's pretty similar. Hello, hello. Get off that control ward, Buster. Like that. Singed and Briar are, are engaged, so we're going to have to play around them. We've already do our, done our two camps, so we can kind of position around mid. They have a mid turret to run to, so it's not easy. Yeah, our front line is dead. Impressive. Why didn't you ulti in? They're just dead, Bob. Welp, at least I don't have a shutdown, so now I'm gonna try to smite steal the Baron, that's my best bet. Even if I farm everything on the map, it just doesn't, it's not gonna amount to a steal. Oh, wish me luck. Wow, they did that fast. I was even delaying my blue trinket because I figured like, I have some time. Master Yi Baron is no joke. Well, it's GP, Jinx, and Master Yi. Yeah, that's going to be the world's fastest Baron. Can we get it done? The enemy's got everything they've ever wanted. Lo I have losing soul lanes. I have no support. And they have the world's most fed GP. With Randuins, this gives us 400 HP, 55 armor. The Rock Solid passive reduces incoming auto attack damage. And Critical Strikes deal 30% 30, 30 less damage to you. As well as you have the active that slows. So we can layer the slows. That part's not really that important. As we enter the late game though, what is important is that we have some sort of tank item. Whether that's Sterax, Randuins, Death Stance. So that we can survive being on top of a whole bunch of champions. Just like this. GP, I love you. Ulti. Q, E, W, auto. Auto, smite, auto. Hit the barrel. Nice. Flash. Q. Run. Run. It's about as much as I can contribute, boys. Now it's up to my team to defend the turrets, which probably isn't going to happen. If my team doesn't defend the turret, then Jinx is just going to take it all. She gets her reset on the fucking... Taking an objective. Whoa. Where do I even go from here, man? Death Dance seems like my best bet. 
So we'll go with that. Steel Sigil and a Longsword. This gives us 30 armor, 15 AD, and then 10 armor. It's definitely a bruiser item. Giving you that 30 armor. It seems like pretty bad stats as a third or fourth item component. Steel Sigil's not that bad. If you get it too early, it don't do nothing. So, it's pretty balanced. Whoa! I'm glad I blue trinketed that. Damn. Alrighty, if GP goes mid... In position, waiting for the enemy to make a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patience is key, I suppose. Whenever I'm playing like this, though, I don't even feel like I'm patient. It's just, this is the right move. So that's what I'll do. There's my ADC. So they already got one inhib. Now they're definitely going to get the second one. Until the Nexus turrets, man. Oh, you know what I can do? Let's cut off that mid wave. They're already going to get this inhib, but if I kill this and there's no additional push... Run! Run! Nice, now she stopped chasing. And then we reset, deal with this bot wave. Do I have to ult in here? Until the Nexus turrets, man. I truly have like no wave clear, eh? Flip onto Jinx, but can't really dive. My ADC. Alrighty, GG. Well, Bob, we gave it all that we can get. What? We, we, we gave it all that we had. And all we did was what was required. Did we win? Nope. Sometimes you lose games, and it's no big deal. Alrighty, that'll put us at Masters 304. Yeah, Bob, that was a Master Tier 300 game. 300 LP, that's what they were doing. Final gold, 12,000. Final damage dealt, 20,000. Bob, I dealt most damage as a Nocturne. That's all we have to say. I'm sorry you had to watch that. Feel free to unsubscribe and leave a dislike. Thanks for watching. Peace.